the International Standards of Excellence in Educational Management and Curriculum Development, National and International Standards, Compliance to Transformation, School Management, Key Principles and Practices, Academic Structure, The Three Pillars, Critical Success Factors, Excerpt from Council of International Schools, CIS. Governance, Leadership, and Ownership Alignment with Schools Guiding Statements. Effective Monitoring and Evaluation of Student Learning, Well-Being, and Global Citizenship. Clearly Defined Roles and Responsibilities for Sustainable Development. The Head of the School is Empowered to be the Educational Leader. Excerpt from New England Association of Schools and Colleges, NISC. Clear articulation and understanding of primary learning impacts. Clear plans for attaining learning impacts. Distributed leadership and emergent leader development. Excerpt from British Schools Overseas, BSO, Ofsted. Quality of leadership and management standards. Leadership providing clear educational direction. Positive relationship between school leadership and governing body. Effective policies, financial management, and staff development. Excerpt from Cognia Accreditation. Leadership for learning, communication of learning expectations, and impact on culture. Leaders engage in their own learning and support the learning process for learners and teachers. 2. School management, key principles and best practices. Leadership models. Hierarchical collective. Leading according to external requirements while preserving community values. Key values in corporation and relationship building. Building and sustaining stable relationships with learners and their families based on community norms. Expectations, distributed collective. Identifying and supporting common values, beliefs, and goals. Inspiring networked relationships, shared values, and resource sharing. Bringing resources from the external world into the community while maintaining community norms and standards. Key principles in school management. Unity, unified vision, collaborative practices, adherence to protocols. Consistency, implementing best practices consistently, setting high expectations. Productivity, maximizing resources, promoting student autonomy, and personalized learning. Impact. Focus on learning impact, emphasizing desired skills and competencies. Best practices in educational management, needs-based analysis, identifying gaps between current and desired conditions, prioritizing needs, and implementing evidence-based strategies. Criterion-based analysis, aligning curriculum standards with assessment criteria to ensure valid and reliable judgments. Concept-based approach, fostering understanding of key concepts. SWOT Analysis, Evaluating Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. 3. Academic Structure, The Three Pillars. Three Pillars of Education. Intended Curriculum, Authorized and Licensed Curriculum Standards. Implemented Curriculum, Teaching Based on Intended Curriculum. Attained Curriculum, Learner Knowledge, Skills, and Attitudes. Key Points. Future-ready curriculum leverages adaptive technologies and promotes equity. Learner-centered, culturally relevant instruction with varied perspectives. Assessment of competencies using technology and data. 4. Critical success factors. Success factors. Student achievement through assessments and awards. Enrollment rates and graduation rates. Staff retention and professional growth. External partnerships with communities and international organizations. Closing thoughts. Leadership is the capacity to translate a vision into reality. Warren Bennis. Effective leadership is vital for organizations to avoid conflicts and ensure clarity in their mission, vision, values, and direction.